We're still in a very hot period. Um, we've noticed the last number of days that there's been a lot of lightning around in the weather, very hot weather, um, but we haven't had the winds, which has been good. 380 fires have been started, most of them by lightning, over the last 72 hours. And the good thing about that, all of those have been managed well and only a small number are still um, going fires. So that's a good thing. That means that DSE Parks and CFA have been very busy in their initial response and able to manage most fires in the first hour or so. Great outcome. It means a lot of people are doing a lot of work though. 1,075 firefighters, 240 fire trucks, um, 64 helicopters or fixed wings, so the, the aircraft fleet's big bigger than we normally use and uh, very effective. So it's a busy time and we also always say thanks to all those that are out there in hot conditions. It's not easy to be a firefighter. You're out there when it's hot, you're out there in the dust, the smoke, and you're actually quite busy and it's very hard work. So it's good. Um, but you also got to say thanks to the families that let all our firefighters go away and their employers as well, particularly those, the volunteers. It's, it's absolutely critical that they get that level of support. This week we continue on to be in the 30s, it's on all week. It's 30 degrees, mid 30s, all the way through this week. Uh, the winds appear not to be excessive, but at the moment we don't need excessive winds to see fires move around fast because it's so dry. It's dry in the west, it's dry in the north, there isn't any forecast rain. I think the best they're going to say, there may be some forecast rain in the far east later in the week, but between now and then we'll see plenty of lightning. And the other thing that's worth noting is uh, today's the first time we've used an interpreter. And uh, that's something that uh, we think is important. And uh, it's an opportunity for us to make sure that we're communicating to a broader community and those that, uh, that are deaf uh, that need that level of support. So we welcome that. The Auslan interpreter will be with us on a more regular basis. And we've certainly worked hard with uh, Vic Deaf to actually make sure we've got the right support in that area. So that's a good thing and uh, we welcome that and I hope, uh, hope the, a broader audience now connect to our messaging, which is fantastic. So thank you.